What's up everybody? In this video I'm going to talk about the requirements of running Lumion 11. So to check that what I'm going to do is first I'm going to go over here to benchmarks to see what my computer is running and how it performs. So here we see the graphics card that I'm using is the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti and according to their benchmark results this is a little bit above the recommended uh, specs for Lumion 11. The graphics memory is at 11 gigabytes and that is pretty much exceeding the recommended. My processor is an Intel Core i7 8700K at 3.7 gigahertz and that is exceeding the recommended but there is room to improve that and my system memory is 64 gigabytes so overall this is a pretty good setup there is room for improvements but do you need this to run Lumion and what do you need to make it perform the best possible well to do that I'm going to go over here to the performance tips and let's see what Lumion says is the best setup for running its program so a couple things here that I want to point out and and here, here it just tells you um, basically to have a great experience with Lumion, this is what you'll need. And right now, off, um, to start with, we need Windows 10, uh, Windows 10, and you should have that up to date. And here it says, um, we recommend updating your Windows to 10 version 2004 or newer. And let's see, I don't think there was anything else here that really jumped out at me. Um, here the graphics card it just tells you how the graph the graphics card helps to improve your experience and a couple things I thought was interesting is if you're having trouble loading your models it could be a RAM issue so here it says RAM plays a role when your project or model is being loaded into Lumion so the more RAM you have the bigger and more detailed these loaded scenes and models can be Another thing that's going to affect your load time is your hard drive. So here again it tells you, you know, the type of hard drive, the size of it is going to affect how fast your model is uploading and also even your power supply. So your power supply is going to affect your performance. If your computer does not have enough power, it's going to basically drop down your performance on your things like your graphics card and your processor, whatever. So you have to make sure that you're running you're running a adequate power supply for your setup. And of course, the graphics card is the most important thing. And we're going to go over some of uh, their recommendations here. So if you go to this, and this is, if you need to find this, this is under Lumion's blogs. And here it says, please click here to see our laptop computer recommendations and for the desktop. So, so let's go over here to the uh i believe this is for the pcs and um so let's go over first to the minimum requirements for a pc to run lumion so here we go to uh, just some basic information of course you need an internet connection here it says the graphics card so you're going to need a graphics card with a 7000 uh, G3D mark of 7000 or higher with up to date drivers. And here gives you an example of the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 1650 uh, or the AMD Radeon RX 470 or better. And that graphics card should have 4 gigabytes of memory or more. Again, it says you need to have Windows 10 64 bit, an up to date, date version of it. Um, your CPU processor. Um, here it says you need an Intel or AMD processor and here it says a single thread CPU mark of 2000 or higher and, and it gives you some examples such as the AMD Ryzen 5 1500X or the Intel Core i7 3770K or better. And here for your system memory you need at least 16 gigabytes or more. So if you don't have 16, if you're only running 8 or even 4, you need to upgrade that to run it. That's just the minimum requirements. Again, you need uh, this type, these types of hard drives. 
and your computer should have 40 gigabytes of free space. Now, my computer is actually starting to run low on space, so I'm going to have to do an upgrade soon. So if you're having trouble with, um, loading up Lumion, make sure you're, you have enough space available for this program. It uh, takes up quite a bit. And of course, your power supply, you need to have a power supply that supports all your video cards, all your hardware that you're installing in your PC. Okay, so that is the minimum requirements for running Lumion. Now, what's the recommended? So the recommended, of course, everything's going to go up a little bit. So here we have a GPU scoring of uh, 14,000 or higher with up-to-date drivers, such as the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070, AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT or better. Now, I am running the GeForce... Uh, or the NVIDIA GeForce uh, TI, the 1080, I'm sorry, yeah, the 1080 Ti, right? That's what I'm running. Let me go back here. Yeah, the 1080 Ti. So I'm actually a couple generations behind. And to be honest, I'm still having pretty good results with this video card. Now, I am running some numbers that are higher than this uh, recommended. So I have 11 gigabytes of my graphics card memory. Here they're saying 8. So I'm exceeding in that area, even though I'm underperforming here. And it seems to be running fine, um, but of course I, it is something that I'm considering updating because I, I want the you know I want to get the best performing the high, I want the high end, but we'll get to that in a minute. So again, uh, Windows 10 64 bit the for your processor they are recommending a AMD Ryzen 55 uh, 2600 or Intel Core i7 4790 or better. And here, if you want to just do some more shopping here, it just says a CPU mark of 2200 or higher. And let's see what else. Here, again, now we're talking about recommended. So now it's 32 gigabytes of RAM. And here we're talking about the hard drive sizes or the, the, the types. And again, 40 gigabytes. So that remains the same for the, for the minimum and for recommended. Okay, so now let's jump to the high-end requirements. So for the high-end requirements, again, we're going to be seeing uh, upgrade and everything. So now it's recommending the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 or better for our graphics card. And here it says a scoring mark of 20,000 or higher. And of course, up-to-date drivers, 11 gigabytes or, or more of memory, which I have 11, and up-to-date Windows 10. And for your processor, they are recommending a Intel Core i7 7700K or better, such as the AMD Ryzen 3700. And let's see what else. So your RAM, again, this is to get your highest high-end requirements. Now it's saying for RAM 64 gigabytes. So that's, um, that's actually what I have, so that's good. The hard drive, there's your hard drive types, and again, 40 gigabytes. So that remains constant through all of them. So that is what they are recommending for the high-end requirements. So if you want to make sure you get it, you're getting the best performance, you definitely want to get some of these uh, upgrades. Now, if you are running Lumion 11 on a laptop, the recommendations are a little bit more simplified on the Lumion website. And here we go down to the graphics card recommendations. And here it's broken down to the high end, the recommended, and the minimum requirements. So here for the minimum requirements, we see the NVIDIA uh, RTX 2060 or 2060 Super mobile or max Q version for recommended. Again, it's going to the video RTX. It's going up a bit to the, to the 2070 graphics card. And for high end, we're going to the 2080. So just a, a little bit better in each one of those categories. So for the system memory, again, minimum 16 gigabytes. So if you're shopping for a laptop to run Lumion, make sure it has 16 gigabytes and make sure you're running at least an NVIDIA RTX 2060 or better on that laptop uh, recommended. So if you want to make sure it's Lumion's gonna function right, go to 32 gigabytes of RAM. And again, for high end, you wanna go to that 64 gigabytes of RAM. And here, the uh, screen resolution, just make sure it's uh, 1920 by 1080. And that's pretty much the gist of the requirements for a laptop. And another cool thing that you can find on Lumion's uh, page here, they actually have a list of 
uh, laptops that they recommend. So they're making it easy for you. So here you see the Acer Predator, uh, which here has a 2080 Max Graphics card and uh, 32 plus gigabytes. Now, I don't think there's many laptops that have 64 gigabytes of RAM. I think I see one here. So, um, but the graphics card is a little bit less. So I think you're gonna have to kind of mix and match some of these requirements when you're looking at, when you're shopping for a laptop. And and you can go down again to just, uh, uh, obviously these are probably gonna be a little bit cheaper laptops. I'm not sure about all the prices here, but you can see some of the performances are a little lower. Here's the 2070 graphics card. And here we go to the minimum. And I really wouldn't stick around the minimum if you're gonna be doing some heavy uh, modeling in Lumion, because of course you're gonna to wanna to use those higher end features. So I would stick with a recommended, or if you can't afford it, go to the high end laptops. So pretty cool um, page here that Lumion has provided. They've already done the hard work for you and actually found you some laptops. So I would definitely check out this page. This is in the uh, support section for Lumion at their website. Now, if you're running a computer like mine, who someone who has not yet updated their graphics card to a 2080, again, I'm still running a 1080, but I think since some of my other uh, numbers here are high, I'm still getting a pretty good performance out of my desktop. So if I go over here to this model, let's go ahead and load up a model that I'm working on. And I'm going to give you an idea of what it takes to um, to render something, to render a video, and just to render images. Okay, so in this scene, I have quite a bit of uh, vegetation going on. I'm using the uh, 3D grass. So that is one of the things that actually takes up quite a bit of memory when you are working on your models. So grass and um, reflection, things like that, can really slow down your, your model's performance. So I'm gonna go over here to my photo sets that I've created here, and let's see if I wanted to create a, uh, just go ahead and render one of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to render, and we'll go to, first let's just render a, um, just one image here, and I'm gonna go ahead to the print size. I'll go a little bit uh, higher resolution, and let's go here, and I'll just call this, um, our test render and let's see how long it takes to render that and here we see an estimated time just under one minute um, we'll, do good. we'll go ahead and see how much time it actually takes versus I guess what's kind of estimated here okay so I went ahead and sped that up for you so I wouldn't waste your time but that took us a total of one minute and two seconds to render and again that has quite a bit of um, grass the, the 3d grass going on here and uh, quite a few little features on this uh, scene so that is not too bad and so let's go ahead and let's do another test on the movies and let's see how long it takes us to render a video scene so I'm going to go over here to an entire movie and I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and render this whole thing. And if you want to see what I got here, so it's um, not too long of a scene. Um, let's go ahead and go to the entire movie. So I just have one, uh, six clips or I'm going to delete this one. Come back here and I'm just going to show you real quick what I'm doing in my scenes. So just a little bit of a fly around this project. So how long will that take to render? And again, there's quite a bit of things going on here. Um, there's a lot of grass, a lot of uh, trees, so a lot of reflections going on. So let's go ahead and let's go to render. And I'm gonna render at full HD, whoops. I'm gonna at, render at this um, production quality and at 60 frames per second in full HD. And let's go ahead and we'll say test video. And let's go ahead and see what the estimated time is for this video. And sometimes you may have to wait a little bit. I guess it has to kind of uh, start calculating the entire project. And we'll just give it a few seconds. So right now it's hovering about three hours more or less. So it's quite a bit of time. You know, I, I wish that time was less and maybe a, a better video card and um, 
uh, maybe a better processor might increase those speeds. Okay, so here is my final video um, after it was done rendering, and that took us about three hours. And I'll just let it run. You kind of see the quality of that video. Very nice. Um, Lumion 11 is, is, is a great program. Um, a couple little issues in this model that I need to address, but overall, um, took about three hours, maybe a little bit more than that, but not too bad. Again, I'm underperforming on my video card, and there's a couple other areas where I can improve my performance, but it's not like I cannot use Lumion. I can still function and work with Lumion 11, so not too bad. Okay guys, so that is about gonna wrap up this video on the system requirements for Lumion 11. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel and remember to give me that like and click that bell icon so you'll be notified anytime a new video comes out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.